My name is Muhammad Al Asi, the elected Imam at the Islamic Center in Washington, D.C. Well, I think that da this phenomenon called Daesh, you could throw in there Al Qaeda and, and Nusra and Ahrar al Sham, all of, the, all of these types of groupings, I think they were used as a Trojan horse by the Zionists and the imperialists through the Saudi uh, ruling royal family uh, to try to uh, basically um, create a sectarian war in the Muslim world. So even though that they have been defeated militarily, they have to be defeated mentally and psychologically. And this is the task I think ahead. If that's not the case, if if their type of doctrine is not exposed, then in the future sometime, this whole scenario will erupt once again. Islamic unity obviously is, uh, to some people it's a dream, to other people it is a strategy. It is possible and it is practical. The hindrance to Islamic unity is ignorance among the Muslims. A person is an enemy of what he does not know. And so if a Shi'i doesn't know a Sunni and a Sunni doesn't know a Shi'i, and then troublemakers come in between them and they tell the Sunni the Shi'i is an enemy and they tell the Shi'i a Sunni is an enemy and they play up this antagonistic relationship between the two, then they can uh, ignite wars all over the place. Islamic unity, the effort, the strategy, the plans for Islamic unity will bring them all the Muslims together and it would preclude that gap of ignorance because Islamic unity is founded on knowledge. Islamic unity provided that it is constructed on the foundations of honesty and brotherhood and togetherness and equality and justice. When you have all of these elements going into Islamic unity, there's no chance on earth that sectarians and takfiris and Zionists and imperialists and all of their powers combined are able to drive a wedge of warfare among the Muslims. Uh, my word of advice uh, to anyone who is tuned in uh, to, comb to combat ignorance. Our number one enemy is ignorance. If we can just climb the ladder of knowledge step by step, month after month, we will find ourselves, the Muslims and the oppressed people in the world, we will find ourselves in the same direction, pursuing the same objective, and reaching the same goal, which is social justice.